Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory unto Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakadash, the bonus to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone. Peace and salutations to Akiyam, to the elect that are scattered across the four corners of this earth, pushing this truth and faith and its sincerity. I'm the brother Shema'ala from the GMS Houston camp. And this lesson is basically going to be going into how that our belief in these scriptures, the things that we teach, the things that we hope for, all according to our faith. You see, and whether others believe it or not, it doesn't change anything or it doesn't make anything false because, you know, they simply don't believe. Because the Most High, He has to instill that belief, instill that faith in you. And to everybody, it is not given. You see, let me start off with that. Well, yeah, I was shy. Well, he told the disciples, Matthew thirteen nine, it says, "Who had ears to hear, let him hear." And the disciples came and said unto him, "Why speakest thou unto them in parables?" He answered and said unto them, "Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of, the, of heaven." But to them, it is not given. So the understanding is not going to be given to everybody. The faith is not going to be given to everybody. Everybody not going to be able to get into, you know, understand how we believe what we believe. Because this is according to faith. You see, you got to believe everything starts with faith. And everybody's not going to have that. But this is second of 6 and 20. And when the world that shall begin to vanish away shall be finished, then will I show these tokens, right? It's talking about the end. The books shall be opened before the firmament, and they shall see all together. Now, the books being opened before the firmament is talking about this word being pushed out through the web. Right through the internet, right? Because what is the firmament, the heavens, and basically the, our, our atmosphere, right? You have satellites that are in the firmament, and this is how that signal gets pushed out, and people are able to watch these different videos that you know we make concerning the truth in the different parts of the earth. So the, the 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 books, the scriptures, the Bible, is being opened. It's going is being read and opened right before the firmament. See, that's what that means. And they shall see all together. And we, and this is how that you know, majority of us came in, you know, from hearing and, and seeing these videos. You know, on the internet, on YouTube, right? Or on, could have been Daily Motion or, you know, whatever you've seen that. But this word got pushed heavily, you know, through the internet, right? But then it's, verse 28, it says, As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth, which had been so long without fruit, shall be declared. Right, because we started to wake up. Now, this is the Great Awakening over here in Babylon the Great. So, it says the truth which had been so long without fruit shall be declared. So, how how did was the truth going to gain that fruit by faith? It says, as for faith, it shall flourish. See, the remnant that elect, right, was going to have that faith, right, and was going to be fruits of the gospel. You see, they was going to be the ones that have this word in them and believe in that word and believe in Yahweh Shah. Right? And have that faith. You see? And it all came from hearing this word. That's how the faith comes. Romans 10 and 17. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of the Most High. So we heard these things. And you have to believe it, right? You have to have that faith. 
you see, in the word to actually, you know, grasp it, you know, and take hold of it and it to take root in you. You have to have that faith. And the most I selected the ones who are going to have that faith. Because what it says in Ephesians 2 and 8, it's Ephesians 2 and 8, it says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and then out of yourselves is the gift of the most high. So faith is a gift that has to be given unto you. And it was already chosen who's going to, who's going to have that faith. See, now everybody was going to have this faith because it's precious. A gift is precious. You don't just give gifts to every single person. Right? The Mosai, he gives his gifts and secrets to, to certain individuals. And the rest is not going to be able to understand that. But it does not make it false. It does not make it not true. You see? But, hey, you're going to have people that just simply just can't believe. And they would, they would challenge us on the things that we teach. And we can't teach it or prove it from a carnal perspective. It would all be through the spirit, right? By faith. And you got to have faith to even say something like that. Like people, you can't be saying, oh, it's by the spirit, right? To somebody who don't have faith and that's carnal. <laughs> you see? Because they, they, they need to see something. And what is faith? Hebrews 11 and 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So, to have faith is believing in something you cannot see. You see, it's, 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 it's many things that we cannot see, but we believe it because of the prophecy, because of the Spirit. You could say the Spirit shall guide you into all truth. The Spirit gives us confirmation on all things. You see, but, hey, these people are not going to be able to get it. But like I said earlier, just because they don't, believe it doesn't mean that these things are not true Romans 3 and 3 for if some did not believe shall their unbelief make the faith of the most high without effect so we believe in these scriptures we believe that these things are going to happen we believe that we the Israelites right we don't need no DNA we believe that Babylon the great is going to be destroyed we believe you know all things that are in these scriptures right but if somebody in unbelief is going to cancel out everything Hell no. It says, God forbid, yet let the most high be true, but every man a liar. So the most high is not a man that he should lie. And these scriptures are true. The book of Second Letter says, Let these things be written in paper be written down in the in the book or in paper because they are faithful and true. See? But <laughs> you know, it's not given unto everybody, and that's fine. See, it it it, it we shouldn't, you know, stress over the people that can't get it. I mean, that's their lot. They're the ones that's going to be enwrapped in the darkness and the philosophy of this world. David, what David says, he says, let their table be made a snare. I was talking about these scriptures. So when they go into it, but they, they can't, they can't really understand. They can't, they can't get this. He said, well, let, let that, basically that was for their welfare, be a trap unto them. And these scriptures are supposed to be good unto our people. But hey, it's trapping them, and they can't understand it. They can't fully grasp the truth in its entirety, right? Because you got to have the spirit. This is First Corinthians 2 and 12. Now, we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of the Most High, that we might know the things that are fully given to us of the Most High. Right? You got to have that spirit. The spirit is an important factor of, of understanding this doctrine. Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teach it, but which the Holy Spirit teaches. So, the things that we are are speaking and believing, we didn't we didn't learn it in in in, in the school. We didn't we didn't have to be taught this by Esau. Or go pay, you know, to be taught these things that that we know. It's all through the Spirit. It's like what Yahweh showed when He told Peter. What was that Matthew 16? Let me see. Matthew 16 and 15. He said unto them, But who say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the, the Messiah, or the anointed, the Son of the living power. 
And Yahusha answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood had not revealed unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. So he, he was revealed who Yahusha was in the spirit from the Heavenly Father. The Heavenly Father got to reveal this, these things. See, because everybody was, was talking about who Yahusha was or who he could be, but the spirit revealed unto Peter, no, look, you are the Messiah. You see, so you got to have that spirit to, to discern between things. First Corinthians 2 and 14, but the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the most out of the natural man, the carnal man. He's not going to receive it. He's not going to be able to understand it. So he's going to talk ill of it. People talk evil of things that they don't understand. It says, for they are foolishness unto him. Yeah, y'all niggas are crazy. How y'all can believe it? They are talking about the spirit or this and that. Y'all don't have no evidence, no facts. This and that. 12 trials, try this and that. Like, bro, they, they, they're they not going to be able to get it, right? If the most I ain't given the spirit to get it. It says, for they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. So you got to have the spirit to discern between things to, to actually understand what the, you know the scriptures are saying, understanding the will of the Most High. All of these things you gotta have the spirit, and without the spirit, these scriptures are nothing to you. The truth is nothing unto to you. You see, you gotta have the spirit. You see, you know, and that that was a lesson. You know, brothers, edified with that, I'm gonna say shalom.